It's 90.3 KEXP and KEXP.org worldwide. I'm John Richards here on The Morning Show and very excited to be down here in the performance space, all lit up in blue today for Subways on the Sun. Welcome, fellas. You ready? It's all yours. coming down on us and all the lights are coming down on us and all the lights are coming down on us and all the lights are coming down on us KEXP, Subway's on the Sun, one of my favorite songs right now. Hope you like Getting Old. I don't, but I appreciate the song very much. Uh, they have a new release called Capsize. Just came out a few weeks back. Subway's on the Sun live here on the morning show. Ready for another one?
KEXP, Subway's on the Sun. Man, I like the guitars in that one. Menacing, menacing guitars early in the morning. I love it. Uh, Subway's on the Sun live here on the morning show. One of you is in charge of introducing the band. You got to know what instrument they're playing and their names. So choose wisely. This is going to be hard. Um, well, I'm Eric. Hey, Eric. <laughs> and we've got uh, Lars Gard on uh, other guitar, Jimmy Nichols on keys, Nick Barber on bass, and Greg Swinehart on drums. It's good to see all of you, for those new to the band. It's been a few years since the last release, right? Five years? Five years. Five years. What you been up to? Uh, <laughs> you know, not making a record, I guess. Uh, uh, you know, we're at the point in life where we had a bunch of kids and did a bunch of other things and didn't really intend to take five years in between records, but that's just how it went. And, you know, ultimately the timing was perfect for it to get done. So, Was there a time in that in that five years where it, it did occur to you, maybe, you know, let's get the band going here? Or were you just so, I know how it is, man. You get busy with life and parenting and everything else. And those fun things kind of take a back seat. Yeah, they do. Um, and it, it never left our head, you know, and you deal with the boring stuff like band member changes and things like that. But uh, yeah, we were always working on it, but uh, you know, just took a while. <laughs> And when you, um, when you started with the songs, where are some of these, did they start back five years ago? They start, when, was there a, a recent period where you were writing songs? Yeah, they probably were written over like a four year period. Um, I think the one we just played was maybe one of the earlier ideas um, for the album. And we just, uh, yeah, I, I think most of them were yeah, written over about four year period and then just got them done when we can get them done. Did uh did the new, kind of the kids in your life now and those kind of things uh, influence what you're what you're doing the music you're writing or or, or how even how you're in a band? Oh, big time. Uh, that's, that's a huge part of it. I mean, I think a lot of the songs um, you know sort of reflect where we're at in our life. Um, and then the last song on the record, which we're not playing today, but my daughter actually helped write. So that was <laughs> one of those super meaningful things where she kind of came up with an idea on the on the piano, a little melody, and then we ended up writing a song around it. So. Um, I would say the the, the, kid, the kids in our lives are extremely connected <laughs> to what we're doing. Have they seen you play? Have they all um, yet? The, uh, the older ones have, maybe. Um, the younger ones, you know, can't get into bars quite yet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just keep at it. Yeah. <laughs> One day soon. Uh, tell me more about what you guys are up to, too, after this. Are you going to, you know, you think you're going to work on a new record sooner? Are you going to, another five years? Are you going to go to the Renz model? Maybe go 15 years in between records? Yeah, let's do 15 or 20. Uh, no, it won't be five years. Uh, you know, we have a goal to get something else out next year. Probably not a full length. But, you know, more music more often is where we're definitely at and headed right now. And that, it sounds great live. Has it, have you been able to play in clubs much with the new record? Yeah, we did a, a release show uh, a couple weeks ago since the record just came out yeah. at uh, Columbia City Theater, which was ah, an, place. an awesome place. Yeah. Um, we hadn't played there before, so hopefully get to again. And then we have a show coming up at Barboza in a couple weeks as well, and then kind of figuring out schedules. Well, good. Go see these guys. They are they're very good live. I'm sitting right here, uh, and it'll be at night. Uh, Subways on the Sun are live here on the morning show. Again, the new record is called capsize and uh the release before that was the honeymoon stagecoach right yes right, thank you uh and this one out on spartan records as well how's that been awesome uh can't say enough good things about spartan just you know with with where we're at as a band it was just the perfect relationship and um really happy with you know how things have gone in the yeah they, they seem pretty artist friendly and and put out some good records so absolutely so when you see that next to a name that's always a that's it's a record you want to check out yep so good for you spartan all right so always on the sun live your cakes if you're ready
it gets me every time KEXP and Subways on the Sun and a new album called Capsize. And a reminder, they will be playing Barboza Thursday, October 18th. And I uh, have one more for us from the new record here on The Morning Show, if you're ready. We are ready. Nicely done. Subways on the Sun, live here on the morning show. Capsize the new album. A, is it a release party? Is that what you said? Is that, is that the official? Or did you already have it? Well, we had it, but we'll just make it another is one. Is this just a show? It's, it's just a show. <laughs> it doesn't have to be it's anything. It's never just a show. It's never just a show. On a Thursday night, coming up October 18th at Barboza. And good luck with that show and uh, future endeavors. And uh, again, great work on the record. Just love it. 
Thank you. Subways so on the Sun, live here at KEXP. I'm John Richards. This has been The Morning Show. A big thank you before I go. These sessions happen because you donate to the station after a very record-setting drive. Uh, thank you to everybody who supported KEXP and keeps these live sessions on the air here at Listener Powered. KEXP, Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.